Hello friends, I am Dr. Sonika Krishna and today I want to share with you that uh, how we are going to make a connection with nature. We will talk about the five basic elements in the nature. Uh, these are called as Panch Mahabhutas. And uh, connecting with nature, that is so important because it bestows uh, tranquility, it bestows happiness and contentment. Just connect with nature, the five basic elements. The elements are sky, air, fire, water and earth. Just connect with these elements and know that how they are so beneficial for you. Now we are 100% natural. What can uh, tell us so much that actually we are so natural? Just look at your body. That is so easy. Now uh, the sky element. The, all the five elements, I'll just tell you that how the elements, the, they are the same as in the nature. Similarly, the elements are within our body systems. Now, the sky element, the first one, now that's the most subtle element. And what is sky? Sky is only empty space. So, uh, we have a lot of empty space in our body. Uh, there is empty space in each and every organ. There is empty space in our cells, all the cells. Our body is made up of even the you can think of uh, the canal of the ear that is also empty space so anywhere it is empty space that is sky element that is how uh, it is same as in the nature now we talk about earth air so air is the second element and then uh, as in the air uh, as in nature we see that uh, air is takes care of all the movement similarly in our body Air is responsible for the movement, any kind of movement. It may be blinking of the eyes, it may be when we are breathing, the respiration or any kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, the process is going on in our body. So that is air element. Now the third element is fire. The fire, if we see in the nature, the sun is the fire element, that is heat. And similarly in our body. Uh, the, the gastric heat or the metabolic heat, even the body temperature. So all this shows that we have fire element within us. Uh, the fourth element is water. As in the nature, we have lots of water within us. 70% of our bodies are made up of water. And then any liquid in our body, uh, be it blood, be it uh, any kind of uh, plasma, the secretions, the uh, you know, even the saliva, anything liquid in our body, that is water element. Now the fifth element, that is earth. Now in the nature we see mud. So similarly, in our body, the solid part, the mass of our body, basically it can be uh, the bones, the muscles, the ligaments, tendons, everything, what is making up the solid parts of our body is the earth element. So this is how we can, you know, uh, holistically understand it, how we are so natural because the same five elements as in the nature, similarly they are within us, within our bodies. Friends, I just told you that we are 100% natural. This means that it feels so good when we are connecting with nature because once we are in proximity uh, with the five basic elements in the nature and then because we are the same, so we feel a similarity, we feel contentment, happiness, tranquility and even healing. Uh, that's what I always say because uh, it is high time that we return back to nature. If we have distanced from nature, uh, that is a prime cause why we are suffering today. Uh, I always give an example that if you think of an earthen pot, in Hindi we call it a ghada or a matki. So uh, if there is a hole in the earthen pot, so how we are going to fill that hole? A hole in the pot means there can be no proper storage and then they, this is causing problem. So if you try to take a piece of cloth and try to you know uh, put it in the on the hole and try to fill it, 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 the, it won't last. The hole cannot be filled and then if you try to uh, take a piece of plastic and then uh, use it to you know close that hole it may uh, be fine for a few, a few days or uh, 
some time but then again uh, it it won't fill the space you can try it with a wood or any metal or anything else but one thing that is actually going to help is what the earthen pot is made up of it is made of mud take some mud put it in that space of the hole and after some days you will see that uh, there is no hole at all it it becomes uh, because mud becomes mud it becomes a uh, uh, fine and complete in itself so similar is for our us also our bodies we are completely natural and anything natural if we are uh, going to take it uh, within us uh, we're going to imbibe and we're going to be one with mother nature that is how we can be actually healed now let me tell you how to be one with nature it is wonderful experience if you can be one with nature anyways you know go out in, uh, in uh, nature and you know uh, just rejoice and rejuvenate in the lap of mother nature but every day it is not possible for each one of us so uh, i want to uh, share with you that if uh, you know going out and being in nature is not really your cup of tea if you remain so busy in your own uh, you know life commitments and routines what you can do i want to give you a good news and that is that wherever you are you have to practice some activities uh, um, bring it in your diet as well as lifestyle and that is how you can be connected to nature now let me tell you about the first element that is sky now connecting with the elements the first element is sky or ether or akasha that is the panch mahabhuta now sky is supposed to be the most subtle and the most significant of the five basic elements and uh, very nicely you can connect with it when you're going out in nature and just feel connection with sky but then uh, if it is not possible for you because sky is empty space sky is vacuum so that is how you have to uh, create vacuum in our, in our bodies now how it is possible if we take in uh, take to meager eating one is eating less and then you, you can be going on fasting that helps to imbibe the sky element balance the sky element within you and then uh, even uh, taking to mon breath mon breath is a uh, vocal silence please try to uh, take to these activities this helps to bring in more sky element uh, in your body systems and that is how you can connect with the sky element now the second element that is air now if you want to uh, balance air and if you want to uh, bring in the air element within you what you should be doing is take up the deep breathing techniques of pranayama they are wonderful they are yoga therapies only yoga techniques only uh, practice pranayama every day this helps to balance as well as uh, connect to the air element and then uh, more of green leafy vegetables if you take and also uh, the herbs the natural herbs that are available in nature uh, you should be taking them more often and then uh, even massage therapy it is uh, believe that uh, it's uh, massage is another natural technique uh, that help, that can be practiced every day and that helps to uh, balance the air within your body now the third element that is fire so we need all the five elements within our cells within our body systems so that we can balance uh, the elements uh, we can be more connected and we can imbibe them better in our bodies about fire you can be uh, even one of the best is like you can be going in for uh, sun sunbathing especially in the winter climates in the colder uh, you know seasons you can be taking it and then uh, drinking sun charged water that is uh, the colored water as uh, you know told in naturopathy so that is also wonderful and then you can feast on uh, seasonal uh, fruits that have been uh, ripened in the rays of the sun 
So it is wonderful. Take in more of sun within you. Take in uh, the fire element that helps to uh, keep your systems balanced and make you more healthy. The fourth element that is water. We are 70% water and we need to be having more of uh, connectivity with water element. So uh, whenever it is possible for you, uh, whenever there are rains, you know, dancing in the rains or, you know, uh, going in for water sports or water activities, everything is uh, actually beneficial. And then uh, uh, because uh, drinking more of water, at least three liters of water every day is needed to keep your uh, body balanced and uh, bathing and uh, taking to water therapy. Also, uh, in nature, uh, you get the fresh and succulent fruits. They have the best of natural water. So, uh, that is how, uh, you know, bring it more into your diet and uh, take up these uh, uh, activities in your lifestyle and that is how you can connect with the water element. Now, the fifth element, that is earth. Earth is mud. So, if you want to connect with mud, uh, it is actually advisable to walk barefooted on the mud and then there is so much of uh, uh, in naturopathy there is uh, uh, the mud therapies you can be taking uh, taking to mud therapies and in your diet uh, you can be taking uh, more of cereals and uh, uh, these um, pulses they are more uh, you know you can get the connect to the earth element with these activities as well as lifestyle so what are the benefits why you should connect with the five basic elements and why you should imbibe these five elements within your bodies this is because one when you are one with nature so you will surely experience healing natural healing and the guidance and intrinsic support and uh, that is when you will be also you know so peaceful and you will be having a you know blissful dream within yourselves so that is why it is so much needed that you connect as much as possible with these five basic elements because as humans we are the same we are 100% natural and nature is the are going to be our basic support now let me tell you that uh, similarly Ayurveda also uh, tells you that you know you have made up of the five basic elements. Now the Ayurveda understanding of Panch Mahabhutas, Panch is five, Mahabhutas are the basic building blocks, the five basic elements as in the nature, similarly in the human body. So uh, Ayurveda also tells us the same that uh, as is without same as within. So, uh, according to Ayurveda, we are all made up of these five basic elements, but the same elements are not there in each and every individual. That is what makes us different. That is what differs one person from another, as in the physical body as well as the, the mind temperament. So, uh, Ayurveda believes that there are three types of doshas. The Vata Dosha, the Pitta Dosha and the Kapha Dosha. Vata Dosha is air body humor. Pitta Dosha is fire body humor. And Kapha Dosha is flame body humor. So the Vata Dosha uh, makes up the Vata types of personalities. And if you are a Vata type, you will be having more of uh, earth, uh, sorry, air and sky element within yourselves. So uh, Vata is more of air and sky and the pitta dosha pitta is fire the fire body humor or the fire basic element as is there in the nature so if you're a pitta personality if you're a pitta type you will be having more of fire within you and the third type that is the kapha type the kapha dosha or the kapha type of uh, personality or uh, constituents if you have more of kapha within you you'll be having the basic elements of water and earth that makes a uh, three different personalities the vata types the pitta types the kapha types or the three doshas vata dosha the pitta dosha and the kapha dosha thank you so much friends
it is a pleasure talking to you if you uh, like my videos please subscribe to my youtube channel you can visit me at my website that is www.drsonikakrishnan.com you can contact you can write me an email at sonikakrishnan@gmail.com thank you so much